بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين وصحبه المنتجبين السلام عليكم dear viewers uh, in this program which is coming to you from the holy shrine of Imam Rida I am going to discuss one of the rules concerning the practice of prostration or lying prostrate uh, during the performance of Salat. As you may already know, at the time of Sajda or prostration, seven parts of our body must come into direct contact with the ground or the floor on which we are uh, performing our prayers. These are your forehead, the palms of your both hands, your knees and the big toe of your feet. Now, while you are lying prostrate with these seven parts coming into contact with the ground and the floor on which you are praying, it is very essential for all of you to remember and know that while you are reciting the words for your prostration, Subhana Rabbi Al A'la wa Bihamdi, or any other complimentary and additional words that you may use during your prostration, it is very essential for you to remember that while you are mentioning those words, none of the seven parts that I mentioned earlier should be separated from the ground. The contact between these seven parts and the floor must remain while you are reciting those words. Now, if you, if it happens that you are reciting the words of your prostration, your sajda. And one of the seven parts of your body loses contact with the ground. Uh, for example, you may be uh, itching your left feet with your right feet while you are in prostration. The right feet is separated. It has lost contact with the floor. Or it may be the case that you are lying prostrate and you use one of your hands, you lose contact with the floor, you raise your hand to move something or to uh, move away something. If such incidents happen during the performance of your prayer, unfortunately, your prayer would be rendered invalid and void altogether and you would have to repeat the same prayer. However, I must mention that while you are lying prostrate, if you need to move your hand or your one of your feet, if you want to do that, uh, that would be okay and it would not invalidate your prayer provided that you are not mentioning any words. So the rule that I mentioned earlier applies to the time that you are mentioning the words and separating one of the one or more of the seven parts from the floor. But if you are silent at the time of moving one of the seven parts, then your prayer shall remain correct and it will not be invalidated. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.